Hello, good afternoon. Thank you for joining me. My name is Celia Alves. I am an Excel developer uh, and a consultant. I develop business solutions in Excel. And today I have a quick question here that I would like to answer to Myra Page. She asked the following. I have a demand report that I extract from SAP every month and there is data loaded in this report since year 2017. I try to automate it. Do you have any tip on how I can automate it to always bring the data from the current month onwards? I tried your tip in this other video here, but I could not get it from the current day onwards. But I need the data since the first day of the current month, since May 1st, for example. That's the current month we are in uh, at the time we are recording. Thank you in advance. So let's see. Uh, two examples. I am not sure how, how the data was for Myra. And first of all, Myra, thank you for your question. I'm glad to help you with that. So in this set of data here, let's do control down to go to the last row. I have data up to May 4th, which, which is today's date. We can see here on my bottom right corner on my computer, I'm recording this video on uh, 2021st, May 4th. So one situation could be, uh, I only have data until today from any moment in the past until today. If I want to import this data, but then filter it or to only have data from the first of the current month on, we can come to data, in this case from table slash range. My table has headers, okay. And then Power Query Editor opens, okay. So that's here. Let's put it like that. And it already recognized the columns as date and amounts, uh, considered total in whole numbers here. That's fine. Uh, we are not worried about that for, for this example. In this case, it, it considered in fact as date time. So we can change this to date. Replace the current step, okay. And now we can uh, use the filter button and come to data filters and look through all these options here. In this case, I could say uh, that it's in the month and it's in this month. So if I choose this option, the formula I get here uses the function date dot is in current month and uh, looks at the column date. And you see here we get all the dates from uh, May 1st until today's date that we had before, uh, that we, we saw on our date. So now we could go close and load to and maybe put our data here, our report, and just wait a little bit, Power Query loads our data. So, for example, if I do this, I see I have a count of 15 dates, 15 pieces of data, totaling uh, 33366. So, if we go and confirm here with our data that is sorted by date, for ascending order. Uh, we have May 1st here. So if we select the amounts, we have a count of 15 and the same sum. So this is correct. Okay. So that's one way of solving if the situation you have is that you only have data until the current day. Another situation could be having data from the past, anytime in the past, until any time in the future. So in this case, I go up to uh, July 9th of this current year, 2021st. So let's see what we can have for this situation. If we go and do data from table slash range and my table has headers, okay. And then Power Query opens here. Again, uh, it decided, I'm going to do Control Shift Plus to get it a little bit bigger. Um, this time it also decided that this column would be date time. So let's change it to date for now. And let's see what we have in the, the filter, date filters here. 
So we want a date that is after or after including a certain day, which is the first of the current month. And this report can be ran in any time, any day in the month. So we don't know uh, for the next time that the user is going to uh, refresh the data. Um, it could be any date, any month, even any year. Right, so we want to give make this as flexible as possible to work in future dates. If we look through all these options, so we have in this month, uh, but then it won't capture the dates from uh, for after the current month. We that that won't work. So we could do custom filter, try that, see what Power Query gives us as options, and we have here similar options uh, in is in week uh, is in the previous so nothing really uh, works here so we can try a temporary solution and then we look for uh, different functions that can help us and we adapt the formula that's my approach so what i suggest is uh, to choose is after or equal to and then I come here and I choose what I would want Power Query to do automatically, but it's it's still not doing automatic, automatically. So I wanted it to choose the day one of the current month. Okay, do okay. So what we get here is um, a formula that says uh, select all the rows from the previous step uh, called change type. That's the name of the previous step, and pick up each row where the column date is has a value that is greater than or equal to the specific date of 2021 may 1st so now we need to make these values here flexible the day will always be the first but the month and the year can change depending on the time that we ran the report right so what we can do is come to this page here microsoft docs uh, look for power query m language this is the link here i'll copy this link and i will make it available after when i share this file with you if you are interested in uh, practicing with the same data and when we come here in fact we can come if i go back to this main page we see all the different sections of um, formulas we have available in the m code and particularly the date functions and then inside the date functions we have other subsections and or in fact we have the date functions and we have the date time functions under the date time functions we are going to use and I do encourage you to look through all these options because doing that, we become aware of what we can use in the future, even if we don't need it right now. Uh, so I would go to date and then look for month because I want to use, to refer to a certain month, uh, the month of the current date. So I have date.month that says here, gives me the, if I put a date here, a date time there, find the month, returns the month component of the provided date value, provided date time, it says. Okay. I also have, similar to this one, I also have date year. So it will return the year component of the provided date time value. Okay. This one here, pound sign date, is in fact what Power Query, the function that Power Query generated for us. Uh, so it creates a value, a date value from a certain year, month, and day. Okay. So uh, I do encourage you to look through this. And finally, because we want to refer to, to the current uh, moment, we will look into date time functions and under date time functions we have date time local now and date time local now 
returns the date time value set to the current date and time on the system that we are using. Okay, so let's put this all together. To generate this, I want the date dot year. I'm going to type a space so because IntelliSense sometimes does not work very well. And date year of which date? The current date. So date, and we need to spell this correctly, date time dot local now. We are getting that there. I'm going to put a space there. Date time local now. Tab. Okay. And now I open and close parentheses just to make this function work. So, okay, I'm saying look at the time local now and pick up the year from there. Okay, these parentheses belongs to there, so we're good. Now let's move on to do a similar thing to replace the five for the current month that we are in, in today's date. So I'm going to copy this put it here and the only thing I need is to instead of date year choose date month that's what we want the date month of local time now okay and then the day would be one so let's see if I have a correct number of parentheses so date starts closes there, this other parenthesis goes to that one, so it's good. So it seems okay, right? And this one uh, gives me the month of the current date and time. Okay, so let's try to enter. Okay, so and see, let me then uh, zoom out a little bit and see what we got. Let's see, view, I need to press enter first. Okay, here, uh, let's put the query settings there so that we take a look at our steps. So the filtered rows step, uh, we have dates from 2021st, May 1st, and then it continues down on and on and on until the last day that we had, uh, which was July the 9th. Okay, so this seems to be correct. Home, close and load to. And let's put this in the existing worksheet in here, maybe. Okay. And if we select Control Shift down all the amounts here, we have a count of 81 entries and then 21,957. So let's do the same here. The data is sorted. So let's start in May 1st, let's go down, I could have make a search, uh, May 1st, and then I have a count of 81, oh it's uh, 219,657, so I, uh, I did not read correctly here. So there, 219,657, 219, that's correct. So there we go, two options. The second one, we had to work a little bit with the M code, look for our solutions. My file here, it will be available in my Telegram channel. This is the link where you can find it. Feel free to subscribe to it, it's free. And in there, I share the files for uh, the different videos and tutorials and live classes. Remember to subscribe to this YouTube channel if you think the, val the content is valuable to you and you don't, so that you don't miss the next tutorials. Thank you. Enjoy your day and we'll see you soon.